Hey guys, welcome back to Ella Beauty. My name is Leah and today we are going to be going over my empty products. It is that time of year again. Um, don't mind the crazy trick-or-treat bag from reusable bag from Walmart. It's like the perfect size and I just put this in my bathroom so when I am done with the product it just goes right into it. So let's go ahead and get started on some products that I have finished up. Did I like them? Would I repurchase them? Have I already repurchased them? or would I not recommend them at all? So let's get into it. So the first one is actually a men's product. This is my husband's. He finished this Axe, the Phoenix, the body wash, the clean and cool. I actually really like the smell when he does use this in the bathroom. Um, he has already repurchased this. All right, let's stick with the guy products. He, oh, it's like dusty. <laughs> my husband finished an Old Spice, the classic perfume. Um, this one is an oldie and a goodie, and he, I, mm, don't think he's repurchased this. I'll have to double check. All right, sticking with the body wash style. I finished a Ulta Beauty The Winter Vanilla Body Wash. I really liked the smell of this. This one is always on sale um, during Christmas time. It just took me that long to go through it. And because I have a few different body washes that I am currently trying to go through as well. But I really like this vanilla smell. It was too overpowering. I would repurchase this around the holiday time. Just I'm just digging in and grabbing products. Um, I did almost finish up. I, this one kind of got bad a little bit. This is the Briogeo, the Rose, Rosarco, the Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. Um, I did really enjoy this before um, blow drying my hair. I would apply this to my damp hair. I just kind of forgot about it to be honest and I've had this for a very long time. So I'm kind of down to right here and it just has that funky smell and um, coloration to the product now that is just not good. But I would repurchase this. When you're going through your trash, you pick out trash too. Uh, I finished a CeraVe the Hydrating Cleanser. This one is for dry to normal skin. I have a big version of this in my um, sh in my um, shower already, so I did already repurchase this. I really like this when I do double cleansing. I kind of start with kind of an oil-based or a balm base to kind of get off any kind of makeup or grime from the day and then I will finish off with this cleanser. It is very soft on the skin. It does have that added moisture and I really like it so obviously it got the big size. Finished a moisturizer. This is the Origins the Zing Zing the Oil Free Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. This is an old favorite of mine. I really enjoy this. I got this in a little gift set. It came with a lot of Origin products and this was a full size. Um, during around Thanksgiving time and I love this origin Zinzi line. I have not repurchased it now because I have a ton of moisturizers I'm trying to get through but when I am done I will most likely get this one as well. Okay two acne based products. I did finish the Target brand the Up and Up the acne spot treatment. I liked this at night when I had a lot of cystic acne. I would just spot it on and just leave it like that and go to sleep. It would make a big difference. I really liked this product. And then my favorite product for really an acne issues is the COSRX, the Acne Pimple Master Patches. You can get this in a pack of four um, on Amazon, and that is what I did, and I've already gone through one because I don't know if you've seen some previous videos, but my hormonal acne is through the roof. <laughs> so these are just little patches that you put on the acne. I like to do this at night, or if I am in the house and not wearing any makeup and I know I'm not going to leave the house, I will wear them. Something is magical about these patches. They will just kind of um, raise up the acne and make it go a lot quicker than what it would normally or it would diminish it completely. So these are amazing and I would highly, highly recommend these. So also another little origin sample size. This is the Checks and Balance the Frothy Face Wash. Frothy Face Wash. <laughs> this will make me think of my mom every single time because this is her favorite face wash and she kind of turned me on to it and I really like it. It does say, it does do what it says, the frothiness of it. It kind of just really gets super um, bubbly on the face and it takes off makeup really well. Uh, like I said, I have a few other cleansers I'm going through, but I definitely will keep an eye out for this one in the future. Also another little sample size of the Shiseido, the Wazo, the Clear Mega Hydrating Cream. I really liked this. I wish this was a larger sample size. Shiseido products tend to be a little bit pricey, so I'm just kind of holding off until, holding off for maybe like a birthday coming up or, um, like a sale or anything like that, but I really like the Shiseido line. It's one of my favorites in Sephora, and this was just super gentle. It's kind of a gel-like, so I felt really good and cooling as well. So I did not finish this product, but I really didn't like it. This was a, sam a sample size of the Glam Glow the Super Toner. It's exfoliating acid solution. I got this in a little sample size in a Sephora play box before they were not doing those anymore. 
um, you just kind of shake it up and apply it. It just smelled like alcohol and it just really annoyed my skin and so I did not like it so I did not finish this. Okay. Finish the, uh, a little tube of the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is a really good um, drugstore uh, mascara. It is, performs just as well as a lot of high ends. It just kind of dries out kind of fast. So that is exactly what this one did. It just kind of dried out before I was able to finish it. I do really like it. I love the price tag on it, so I will definitely repurchase. Finished up a little sample size of the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I really like this particular, this kind of orangey yellow one. There is a blue one that is more coconut smelling, which is not the right kind of coconut smell that I like, but this one is really yummy. I like to put this on the legs after I was shaving the legs, getting out of the shower, um, going out through the day if I was wearing shorts. So I definitely would like to get the big tub of this. Ugh, lots of garbage, gross. Just fuzzies. Finished up a Grain Clean Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm from Pharmacy. This is my favorite cleansing balm. I have already repurchased this since then. Now the lid is white. This is just an incredible cleansing balm that will take off all your makeup really, really easily. Um, and I would recommend this to anyone. Finished up also a little sample size of the Drunk Elephant, the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This one I really enjoyed until I tried the um, one with the pink lid on it it's a little bit thicker it is an amazing moisturizer it's my mom's personal favorite over this one and she would always be like i love that one more but she did get this one when i was last at sephora with her so i'm, I'm sad that i kind of led her just to the wrong route but this one is an amazing moisturizer junk elephant is kind of an expensive line but you do get what you pay for finished up a little sample size of the amica perk up dry shampoo this is a wonderful dry shampoo i would love to get a full size of this i just have a few others that i need to go through first also a you notice that a lot of these are sample sizes because i do get a lot of sample sizes from sephora play boxes in the past this is the alterna the caviar anti-aging smoothing anti-frizz blowout butter i really liked this product a lot it really smoothed out my hair at, before blow drying before putting any heat products to it I would love to get the full size of this. All right, another little face cleanser. This is the Junk Elephant, the Festi Number no. 9, the Jelly Cleanser. I liked this. I don't think it's worth the price tag. I think this is just as good for a double cleanse as the CeraVe one, um, but it was nice and enjoyable to use. It was a goodie. This is the Dr. Dart, the Derma Clear, the Micro Water. This was kind of a um, water that kind of broke down your makeup and everything, and it worked really good on the eye makeup. It was extremely gentle and never made my eyes burn or anything. I would love to get the full size of this one. It was time to replace this Real Techniques beauty sponge. This was getting gross. It was time for it to go. And let's finish off with the last product. Also, surprise, surprise, sample size of the Dr. Jart the Peptidin Radiance Serum. I enjoyed this. I just think it was too small of a size to really kind of get what I wanted out of it. So I don't know if I'd want to repurchase this. I have a few other serums that I'm going through right now that I like very well. So it has a little bit of a competition against it. So we'll, we'll just wait and see. That right there is a speed through process of all of the products that I finished over in the last like three or four months, which um, I don't really finish products too quickly. So that means something if I really did kind of get them all the way through. I did like a lot of these products. Like I said, there was only maybe one or two that I didn't think was worth the price tag. The other ones I loved. So I definitely want to repurchase all of these. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, a brand new video of me going through my trash. So I hope you guys are staying healthy, staying safe. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and share if you haven't already. And I will talk to you later. Bye.